Today I will be talking about Fubo and the recent dip they took. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we talk about Fubo and its potential for a trade next week, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and to also leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want two free stocks and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, go ahead and click the first link in the description and get all signed up. But without any further ado, let's get into today's stock, ticker symbol FUBO or FUBU TV. Fubo is a digital entertainment company that is focused on offering consumers a streaming platform for sports, news, and entertainment. They have a $2.8 billion market cap and have an average trading volume of about 8.88 million trades per day. Today, however, they had 30 million trades and a 15% sell-off. The sell-off was caused most likely by the reminder that Rosen Law Firm gave about their class action lawsuit. And that leads us into our first article for the day, so let's go straight there. So the article is titled, Deadline Rosen, a globally recognized law firm encourages FUBU TV incorporated investors with large losses to secure counsel before an important deadline. So this is playing perfectly into short sellers' hands as it's negative news about a lawsuit about FUBO, but in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys why I think that this lawsuit won't affect Fubo TV in the long term. But basically this just served as a reminder that Rosen Law Firm, a global investor rights law firm, reminds purchasers of the securities of Fubo TV um, between March 23rd and 2020 and January 4th, 2021. Um, of the important April 19, 2021 lead plaintiff deadline. So basically if you purchase Fubo TV during the class period, you may be entitled to some compensation without payment of any uh, out-of-pocket fees or costs through a contingency fee arrangement. So basically Rosen Law Firm is alleging that FUBU TV made false or misleading statements um, that failed to disclose the seven things that you are seeing on your screen right now. And I'm not gonna go over all of them. If you guys want to read them, you can. The thing about these law firms is that they just throw stuff at the wall to see what sticks. And I'm not saying that um, FUBU TV is not gonna lose this class action lawsuit because they actually do have a pretty compelling case. Um, but they like these law firms like to throw anything at the wall and uh, see what's going to stick. So, um, but let me get into why I think that this isn't going to affect them long term. Basically, short sellers are saying, "Hey, look at this class action lawsuit that Fubu has against them. Fubu must be a terrible company if they're having a class action lawsuit against them." And this is a typical thing that short sellers do: is they bring up class action lawsuits, sometimes with uh, kind of like with SOS that don't really have much merit to them and some of the things could be false about it. And a lot of the time, the class action lawsuit won't actually affect the uh, stock or company in the long term with, in most cases. But basically, even if they lose, this is gonna be a drop in the bucket uh, cash-wise for FUBU TV. And once we go into their income statement and balance sheet, I'll show you guys why. But these short sellers use that as a parameter for the company being bad going forward, and that's just simply not the case. Fubo TV is positioning themselves in a great market and gaining a lot of market share in the right places. And that leads us into our second article, which is titled, Fubo aims to take bets in three states this year, expert not convinced. So basically Fubo TV doubled down on sports betting this week, saying that it could be taking bets in three states by the end of this year. Um, and the CEO, David Gendler said, we could not be more excited to bring Fubo Sportsbook to market in the fourth quarter. And today's market access license for Indiana, New Jersey will help us reach uh, even more consumers at launch, said Fubo CEO David Gandler. So basically, Fubo TV has a very lucrative catalyst coming up that's going to be very good in the fourth quarter of this year. But FanDuel executive said their vision is not possible. They need to have a different sign-up flow to their account for KYC and AML, and they don't want to do for the T Fubo TV uh, subscription product. So you'll have to go through another sign-up for betting that will be a huge friction point and barrier to conversion. But something to take into account is that this is a competitor of Fubo TV. Once they go into the gambling space, FanDuel is an, another gambling site. Um, so the, just take it with a grain of salt what this guy just said, uh, because that could be a friction point having another sign-up, but I'm sure Fubo TV has a lot of smart people on this subject and will get it fixed somehow. 
So now we can take a look at Fubo TV's income statements. And as you can see, they have actually started to turn a profit and they have been increasing revenues every quarter from just 7 million in March to now 105 million um, at the end of the year. And they have been increasing their gross profit from negative 18 million to now 4 million. So those are all very good signs for Fubo TV. Now the balance sheet is the only problem I have with Fubo TV at the moment. As you can see, they do have a lot of total assets and a lot of total or er, and a little bit of total liabilities. But if you look, they only have about 156 million in current assets. So basically liquid cash that could be liquidated or expected to be liquidated in the next um, year. And they have 700 million that is not liquid cash, basically. And when you look at their current liabilities, um, they have a lot of current liabilities. So that I'd like to see more current assets than current liabilities, um, but they don't have a lot of, uh, of liabilities at the moment, so that is a good sign. Um, but they need to get these current assets um, to be more than their, to uh, their current liabilities. But as you see, over the past uh, three quarters, they have been decreasing their current liabilities and increasing their current assets. So I'm really looking forward to their next earnings call to update this balance sheet. Um, but and they have been also uh, decreasing their total debt. Um, so as soon as they do that, they're gonna be in a much better position. And um, yeah, I like the outlook of the stock in general. All right, and now we can get into the fun part of the video where we go over some technical analysis. Uh, so obviously there was a big sell off today. Luckily, I was not an investor in FUBU TV at this point, but I did make my position after I saw this trend reversal. So let me show you. So obviously if we zoom out, um, they have been getting sold off pretty aggressively for a long time now. A lot of short sellers on this stock, which I think is definitely not um, smart uh, to short this stock unless you're doing it for like two days to cover. But um, that's not financial advice or anything, but basically, yeah, they had a big sell off on this, uh, you know, reminder, um, you know, who knows if that's the real um, reason this sold off, but if you can see this trend reversal, um, so obviously for the whole day it sold off, and then I actually made my entrance right here because of this stock pattern. It's called the um, three white soldiers stock pattern. So the three white soldiers stock pattern is when a uh, sell off happens and there's a lot of um, volume and um, it's very so a stock is very sold off. It's on a downward trend. Um, but then you see three candlesticks, um, uh, three green candlesticks with a lot of volume, which it has a good amount of volume and three green candlesticks that actually um, indicates a trend reversal. And now it's a bullish trend. Um, so yeah, I actually made my entrance right here at like 21 uh, 15 and um, I'm gonna be holding for the long term. I really do think this is the bottom of Fubo, Fubo TV. Um, there's a lot of uh, you know catalysts this year coming up that could send this stock going way higher um, and I'm not worried about this lawsuit. Um, but that's gonna be it for my technical analysis. I'll see you with my overall thoughts. As for my overall thoughts with Fubo TV, I just started building out my position, so I'm not that well versed in the stock yet. Sure, I did a lot of research today before I made my entrance into the stock, but I'm not like enamored with this stock yet. But I am bullish on the stock and I built out my position because I do like the catalyst they have coming up with the sports betting, as well as continued growth of their uh, revenue and getting that balance sheet to be a little bit better. This next earnings call is gonna be very telling for how well Fubo TV will be doing in the future. As long as they continue to increase their current assets, I'm gonna be happy and their revenue as well. But I wanna remind you guys that I'm not a financial advisor and that this is not financial advice. If you do want financial advice, make sure you seek it out from a professional financial advisor, not some random guy you met on the internet five minutes ago. But if you are interested in buying this stock and you have not made an account with Weebly yet, what do you do? And you gotta get in the pre-market and after hours with us, all you gotta do is Make an account, deposit $100, and you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850. And now for comment of the day. Y'all comment, and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is coming from JR Reviews, and he said, SOS price target $40 by November, December 2021. Screenshot this, please, so you can look back at it and remember who the chosen one is. Thanks for your comment, JR Reviews. Is your price target for November or December? We need to know, because you're the chosen one, so obviously you know everything, so... I was just wondering if your $40 price target for SOS was November or December. Yeah, we, we, we want to know. 
But that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right here. But my name is Zach and I'll see you in the next video.